Hello guys, today I will show you how to create the energy collection minigame from my story His Name is Rain. I will use an episode original background. You can replace it with any other background of your choice. We will also need 6 overlays. 5 overlays of energy bar and 1 overlay of some energy item which we will collect to fill out the bar. Before going to the script, create a character named Energy. We will use her for the point system. Cut to the middle of the background. Reset the zoom and place our character in zone 2. Let's make a face right and do the search animation. Now we need to add the magic energy empty overlay. Put random coordinates. We will change them in the preview. Let's hide the speech bubble and place our overlay to the top. Scale it if you need. I think this is enough. So we will put it later on this position. Before that we need to shift it to the top where we can't see it. Change the coordinates in the script. and then make it go down just above the character's head. Let's put our character in the middle of the second zone. Now we're gonna add energy shards overlays. There are gonna be four of them in total. The three other overlays will be created from the first one with the command overlay ice spell to create from ice spell. We need to place them around the zone. So to do it, let's cut to zone 1 first, then to zone 2 and to zone 3. Before we do that, let's make our overlays rotate infinitely. Now we can spread them across the zone. Let's make some of them smaller and some of them bigger. I'm going to change their coordinates according to the order. So the first would be I spell and then I spell 2, I spell 3 and so on.
you can delete these comments, we don't need them anymore. And uh, let's write some instruction for the reader. Fill your energy level by collecting the energy shards. Let's also make the energy shards bold. After that, we will need to put an invisible speech bubble. We will make it invisible by changing its scale from 100% to 0%. Reset it in the end. The next will come the tappable comment, and if we don't do that, the narrator's speech will remain on the screen. Now I'm going to replace the empty energy bar overlay with UI. This way, when we pan across the zone, the UI will be glued to the screen on the same position. But it's rather buggy. I will show you later what I mean by that. So it might be better if you stick to overlays. Just write overlay instead of UI. And you can also skip this step. But I'm going to take the risk. Here the bar overlay disappeared because I put the wrong zone in its coordinates. Your eyes always shift in zone 1. Here it is. Next we will create the label energy, which we will use later on. After the label we will add conditions. If energy equals 1 point, then we will add the 1 point energy bar UI and remove the empty energy bar UI by making it invisible. If energy equals 2, then we will do the same but add the 2 point UI and remove the 1 point UI and so on. We will grant these points later on. When energy equals 4 points, remove the 3 point energy bar UI and add a full energy bar UI. Pause for a bit and lead the reader to the end of the minigame with the common go to energy continue. Here will be the end of our minigame. Add a toppable comment with a pun. Number 3 here means the number of zones in the background. And make ice spells overlay stoppable. We need to make sure that this Aurelis will be toppable just once, so we don't get more energy points than we need. We will do this by giving each Aurelis again Shard 01, Shard 02, Shard 03 and Shard 04. Once the reader tops the Aurelis, he gets again and later, if he tops it again, he'll be thrown back at the beginning of the minigame to label energy.
in each overlay after granting a gain, also grant plus one point of energy. Add a sun if you'd like, and make the shard overlay shift towards your character, and become invisible at the same time. Don't forget to make this command start with an ampersand. This way it will work simultaneously with the next command. While the shard is shifting towards the character, make her face it and add a comments a female starts, bite neck, receive terrified. Starts because we want to shorten this animation. After that, add pause for 1.2 comment. This is uh, the duration of our animation. Break it off with female starts idle. At the end, make the reader return to the beginning of the minigame with go to energy. In the end of the minigame, uh, once the reader collects all of the shards and makes the energy bar full, we will need to pan to the second zone, to where our character is standing, zoom on our character and make her perform some animation. In the end, clear all the overlays we've used. Let's see what we have. Shoot, I have an error with the brace, it says, but I'm ready to wager that the problem is somewhere else. Here it is, I forgot to put an add sign before the pause. So don't rely on that little window, it's not always shows your errors correctly. Now I will show you what I meant by the bugginess of UIs. I'm going to shift it back up in the end.
See, it didn't disappear, and it's not in the oil lace either, it just stuck. So in this case, it's better to use oil lace instead of UIs. You can find both templates and attachments. Thanks for watching! I will see you in the next video tutorial.